Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am going to continue today with our HelloFresh 3 recipes and today we are doing the perfect penne bake. So this is the one recipe that I got or that I chose because I, I figured it would be a little bit easier for me to do since I'm pretty used to actually cooking with spaghetti and things like that being an Italian girl. So let me go ahead and show you what we have set up here. So when I went ahead and I looked this recipe over, I went, I had it a little bit more organized this time. So I went ahead and I grabbed a big pan and a big pot for the noodles and then a um, glass baking tray. The only thing I need to grab next is going to be a cutter and a knife. Nah, nah, nah. Gotta find a good one. That's a good knife. Right. Sorry about my. Alright. And a knife. So I have the oven preheating to 400 degrees, like the direction set. And I just removed the box. So here we have, let's see, the kale, which I'm definitely going to want to squish up. We have some thyme. We have mozzarella cheese, some mozzarella, a can of sauce, well diced tomatoes, that's fucking hilarious, some parmesan, some garlic, some Tuscan heat spice, a little itty bitty baby red onion. And some pasta. All right. All right. Well, let's get this going. So we need to wash the kale, which I can do right now. But it looks like our first step on here is to cook the sausage. So here is our fully. It says it's fully cooked. Okay, whatever. We're gonna brown the sausage. We're gonna brown the sausage before doing the onions. Uh, okay. I'm I'm not in charge. So. Let's go ahead and I'm going to get this chopped up and I will be right back with you. All right, so we have the sausage all chopped up as evenly as I can in a nice hot pan. I'm going to go ahead and follow the recipe and make sure they're all flipped face down. Turn that to a medium heat. Okay, and I have some water boiling. So, our next step on here is to cook the aromatics. So, I guess I will wait for those to be done and then I'll get going on the onion and the garlic. And then I'll go ahead and do the pasta and the kale. So, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get this chopped up, and this chopped up, and let these cook, and I will cook it back in with you. Ooh, these little suckers cook fast, All right. going to flip them. Ooh. So I'm trying to capture as much of what I'm doing on camera as I can, but I don't have not professional of a setup, like basically it's my iPhone and my iPad that I, ooh, oven pack, that I record everything on. So things get a little bit tricky, so thank you for bearing with me. I, I think the quality on this will be good enough though. So you at least, I, I want to explain everything as much as I can so you at least have an idea of what's going on. The sausage, by the way, smells amazing. I think it just actually woke my room up from my nap. Alright, okay. Alright, so we have boilage on that. Get this out of the way, get a really weird angle for you. I'm going to add in the noodles. 
and I got a bigger chopping board and I'm gonna tear this up and put it in there. Okay, so I guess that just cooks together. That's interesting. Okay, and now we are going to get that going on medium and we're gonna pop these bad boys in that pan and getting them all browned up and delicious and it already has all the goodness on the bottom so that's going to be great all right so we have these going and so kind of my trick when it comes to getting onions and garlic brown is i kind of try and get them in here like as flat as possible oh i also put like two teaspoons of olive oil in here even though the recipe didn't call for that um i that's just how i do it so i went ahead and did it my own way but I try to get them laid out as flat as I can, and then I just leave them alone. And I really only kind of smoosh them around once or twice. So, I don't know. I feel like that way it gets like a kind of browner, yummier-ness to it. This is so weird. All right. Okay. So, let's see what happens. So, they gave us this, this time, and we're supposed to go ahead and use it. And I just think it's really funny that, like... They didn't show us how to get it off. Now, I know how to get it off because I watch a lot of Food Network. And let me see if I can just finagle this just right so you can see. No, I don't think I can. So basically, you, you have to get these stemmy bits off. So you go opposite. See how the leaves all are growing that way? So you want to pull it this way, and it comes right off super easy. Anyways, that's another tip and trick they didn't show us. Interesting. Also... They cannot possibly think that we're going to use all this time. And, like, that's a lot. I'm not going to use more than that. I might not even use that much. What does the recipe say? Just mix it in. The ingredients. One fourth of an ounce. Where is this? This is... One fourth of an ounce. That seems like a lot, you guys. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. All right, so this is how you want your onions to look. So I'm going to go ahead and the next step is to pop this can of tomatoes in. So I'm going to get that in. Okay, so I got that in. I got that in with the sauce and the amount of time that I was comfortable putting in, which is a very good amount so I'm gonna let that bubble for a second and we're gonna check the noodles which are over here the kale's done for sure but let's get a noodle out and see what's going on with that bad boy Mmm, they need like another minute. Or I'm not into al dente. But just like another minute and then it should be good to go. Alright. See you in a minute. Oops. I totally missed the, the Tuscan heat sauce. Which is going in now. Or spices. Okay, alright. And that's starting to bubble. Yeah. This is looking good. It smells good. Mm. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so we have that nice and simmering. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the sausage one-handed, which is terrifying. Come on. A little help from the front. Get those in there. Let's turn the heat down on this. I'm thinking these noodles are done. Does anybody else love that noise? You could probably go off. That noodle is perfect. All right, let's drain these and we're going to get it all mixed together. Okay, so we have our penne and our kale. 
all up in the pan and I'm just trying to make sure it's even and then we're gonna go ahead and take our sauce and very carefully pour it over oh I'm so proud of myself right now okay move that around a little bit make sure it's all incorporated Alright, and let's look at the directions. Step six. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to mix this up just a little bit because it looks like we were supposed to put it actually in the pot. Sprinkle some cheese on it and I'll be right back. Mmm. Alright. Now it's all cheesy and sprinkled, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in this oven. Let's get this going. So it says it's going to go in the oven for about 5 to 10 minutes. All right. See you in 5 to 10. So it's been a couple minutes, and I'm checking on this, and that does not look like bubbly goodness. The cheese is melted, but... Mm, I'm going to hit it under the broiler for like two minutes to get it real good. Okay. All right. So I got somebody to help me so I could have a reveal. So it's in here. It's been broiling. Um, it's not quite as bubbly cheesy as I'd like. Slip my oven on fire. <laughs> but here it is. Well, that looks pretty good to me. What do you think? It looks pretty tasty. Yes. Let's turn all that off. And I'm going to go ahead and get a scoop of it. Shh. No, quiet. Try not to fling it everywhere, which I'm good at. Alright, it's not that pretty in the bowl, but you know. It's about the flavor. We're gonna go in for that bite and see if it all of our it was worth it. Mm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. That was definitely worth it. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, like in the last one, have you tried anything like this before? Would you recommend it to a friend? Is there a better one that I could try than HelloFresh? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much. Bye.